Alright, gang, we are back. We are back in the land of Skyrim. And we are in search of a weapon of great power. Actually, we're I think we're in possession of a weapon of great power. Yes, Red Eagle's Fury. And now we are going to unlock the secret of Red Eagle's Doom, which I think probably involves the weapon and uh, using the weapon to unleash something upon Skyrim or I thought for sure someone was shooting me. I don't know where from though. Hello, is anybody is anybody here? It's quite the fort. Yeah, so it looked like whoever was in possession of the uh, weapon was doing some kind of crazy ritual. So, I'm a little trepidatious and curious, but, but uh, a little bit uh, wary. Is actually over that away. All right. Looks like an epic intro to a movie or something where the hero is entering the crevasse. Fight the bandits or whatever. Very cinematic. Alright, let's go bash some skulls in. Let's make some, some brain soup, so to speak. Hello? Oh, this is too easy. It's gotta be a catch. Just the perfect, like, sword in the stone moment with the light, like, filtering in on the pillar. You know, as soon as we, like, touch it, something's gonna happen, right? Like, there's gonna be, like, a giant's gonna drop on us or something. Alright, so we put the sword in the, in the stone, or the pillar. Ah. Interesting. traps anywhere. Yeah, this is just making me nervous. It's gonna be a boss fight. This room's too big to just be a normal room. Yep. That's what I thought. Let's see how he takes the Mesa Mullet ball. Oh wow, this guy's tough. There's Red Eagle himself. Wow. Yeah, let's redo this. <laughs> Inside that mace is crazy. Yeah, it served us well up till now. This guy is a tough cookie. It's gonna take a little more than than might. It's gonna take a little magic, I think.
Where'd he go? Am I feeling a little tired, buddy? That's why, kids, you play the mage. I'll take that. Not sure if that's better than the sword that I put in the pillar, but... All right, what do we got up here? Danka? Ah, kind of me. Nothing too crazy, though. Two glass swords. Would be pretty cool to get all glass armor. Like, that's... I think they do a decent job in, in Skyrim. I think they do a better job in a lot of ways of, like, their armor designs than Oblivion or Morrowind. But Morrowind had some really creative design choices. Like, I felt like the glass armor looks super cool in Morrowind, and they they went with these more weird, like, alien designs. But I think this this uh, up their game as far as uh, armor and stuff from Oblivion. It'd be cool to see, like, a reimagining of Morrowind in uh, 4K HD or whatever, like, in more modern graphics and uh, just redone, like, uh, higher pixel count. That's that. All right. Any dwarven arrow? Um. Yeah, we're kind of getting through all these little side quests. Gilder Green being destroyed, huh? Yeah, I want to try to clean house with a uh, uh, quite a few of these like mini quests. Yeah, they're pretty cool. It's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. And it just like has that sense of completion that just makes me feel feel better getting things done. It's like undiagnosed OCD or something. Skumadan in here, where he's kind of welcome to hooking him up. I heard something, Gilder Green, yes. it's a bit of an eyesore at the moment, more of a problem for the pilgrims than for me, but not many of them around anymore. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about a weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hag Raven nest. Oh, here we go. Let's 
I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, we we it's it's been rare, but we have had times in the game where we've slept on a mission. It doesn't really give the location. I've had to look it up manually. Here we are. Are we... Are we in the grove? Oh, wow. Okay, buddy. I think we're in the right place. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah! Oh, those turds. Getting your foot stuck in a bear trap would be extremely painful. What was that? Your death? <laughs> so is a hag a witch? everywhere. Okay, maybe there's a cave down here. Where was that bear trap? I okay, just hopped over it. I hear something. There be a hag raven up here? Yes, there be. I thought I was going to fight like a whole bunch. They made it sound like a whole bunch of hag ravens, which would be pretty crazy. Hey, how's it going? Somehow I did not expect that. I don't know why. All right, off we go. Hey there. I'll go ahead and take that. Is 
it's like, you know, harvesting of spriggan. I guess, like, that tells you something about the power of egg dragons if they can harvest spriggans. The spriggans are pretty crazy. Um... Sweet. That's that. Do you get to the cloud district very often? What, is it, what are you implying? Of course you don't. Saying I'm lower class? Saying I'm part I'm not ex wanted in the cloud district? Hi. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hagrape? Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? Okay. I've been hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam. I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. I thank you for your kindness. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove? Yeah, we've been over this. Yes, yes. So. Or stepping in their sacred water or whatever, probably not a good idea. So, I don't know, that guy seems a little suspicious. Seems a little suspicious. So, we're gonna go get the Elder Gleam. I never say anything like the, uh, game that metal bane, it shouldn't be too ter too bad. Shadowmere! Let us away! In the limits. Ah, uh, Shadowmere. Okay. This is a, it's a strong undertow there. Leave Shadowmane alone! That's what you get. That's kind of a dangerous area, though. The giants. It's the land of giants and hot springs. A lot of elephant bones. So it kind of makes sense. The uh, end of their life and the elephants go to their elephant graveyard to die. They choose the hot springs. So they can get a nice... Nice, relaxing, uh, get the spa treatment and the, just the nice warm water. Some, uh, I don't know, a little R&R. &R. It is really cool if you ever get a chance to, uh, see the hot springs in Yellowstone and, uh, in America. 
super cool. Sorry. These people have the idea. Shoot. I know we're supposed to be, uh, on task, but these guys are bandits. We'll join them and then they'll attack us. Ah. Unmentionables. Speak for yourself, lady. Okay. Ah, this is what it's all about. Mm. So beautiful. It's too bad we couldn't find a house out here. That would have been perfect. Could get out of the, get out of the house and just lounge in the hot springs. And we have an ocean view, but we are, our house is kind of in the middle of the swamp, technically. So this has the uh, the pine forest in the distance and the. Hot Springs kind of gives, gives off the Yellowstone Park vibe. The Northern Lights just look so pretty from there. Keep missing it. Oh, it's probably getting a little bit chilly now. We're further away from the hot springs. this tree it's got to be up there that one guy too is supposed to follow us elder gleam sanctuary let's try a little clear points nine out of ten it's not gonna work but Here we go. Huh? Oh, there you are, buddy. Man, no weapons. Well, maybe he's a mage.
pretty epic. This guy, I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling this guy, Maurice. Who knows? Some. Well, Kinneret humbles us with her feet. So cool. It's a neat, very creative. Huh, I wonder where the tree is. Must be this one. Alright, let's get that out metal vein. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. This tree's getting a little overgrown, a little bit overgrown here. Can we go up to the top or? She is. Sorry, it's a real. Yep. Oh, of course. Spriggans are not happy. The guy's like, "What the heck did you done?" Yeah, the priestess failed to tell us about this. Um, let's see if we can just help the keeper. Too late? Are they all dead? Yeah, that happened kind of fast. So what was that guy's deal? He just wanted to come with? What's the deal with that guy? Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool level. Kind of feel guilty that we uh, unintentionally killed all the... Uh, Keepers of the, uh, Keepers of the Grove here, or whatever, it's pretty depressing. Like, how to... Gotta talk to the priestess and say, like, there's a couple of details you should have filled us in on. Just a few. Get me out of here. It was cool though. I feel like you get these breathtaking levels in Skyrim that are just gorgeous. Like they took it, they took the visual effects to the next level. Now we can talk story and design and style and things, but like 
as far as sheer level design, it's top notch. Um, all right, so about us be having us murder everybody around the world tree or whatever it is. What do you need? This kind of like reminds you of the world tree in Norse mythology a little bit. some explaining to do. Hey. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? Yeah, we, we thought people could die for it. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. Grace of Kinnereth be... Yeah, it was a little messed up. I didn't realize there'd be... I mean, it'd be cool for the tree to look pretty, but I didn't want a bunch of people to die before it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... save it there. Good times, good times. We're getting these, these, quests out, these side quests out of the way, and they're actually proving to be pretty cool. Like, pretty interesting concepts. Um, I haven't really found a boring side quest yet. So, yeah, they do a good job of uh, designing Skyrim. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you guys again uh, for our next episode in Skyrim. Please don't forget to uh, um, hit the like button if you like the videos. Uh, don't forget to uh, share it with your friends. Uh, the channel's just been growing exponentially. It's been just gorgeous. I love it. I'm very, very appreciative. This, uh, uh, you guys are super encouraging. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again for our next episode in Skyrim.